Welcome Virgo to your weekly reading for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. I'm Tiffany and we are going to explore the wisdom of the tarot with intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Before we get started with your reading Virgo, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May, may they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Virgo, let's get started with your reading. Let's find out what divine spirit needs you to know for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. Let's go. Divine Spirit, what does Virgo need to know for their week ahead? Do tell, Divine Spirit, do tell. Okay, we got one. <laughs> I almost turned it over. I'm not ready to reveal it yet. Oh no, too many. Try that again, Divine Spirit. Let's work together. Uh-huh. Got another one. I guess we'll go ahead and let that one be up, right? Or face up, I should say. Virgo, how are you? Drop in the comments what you were expecting this week. Are you facing any challenges? All right. Let's check the shadow card, which ends up on the bottom of the deck. The shadow card generally points to your hopes or your fears. We will get into this momentarily. All right, let's see what Divine Spirit has for you, Virgo. We have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Okay, major energy. Some truth. Are you seeking truth right now, Virgo? The truth in the matter of something specific that's been nudging at you for a while. I'm getting that with the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. It seems like with your Knight of Swords, you want to find the truth and you want to find a way to be assertive. With It's, it's an individual you have to get at the truth because you don't feel like they're being completely honest with you right now, Virgo. So you, you need to be assertive when you are approaching this person to find out the actual truth of the matter. Let's move on and get more so we can bring this all together for you, Virgo. You have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands indicates you are fatigued by continuously, almost obsessively thinking about this situation that you want to get to the bottom of yeah it's causing mental fatigue which will also translate into physical fatigue so you need to take some time rest let this go for now let this go this situation of where you're trying to get some clarification this it will manifest itself believe me whatever it is you're trying to get to the bottom of it will manifest itself in due time and it's going to be this week. So I want you to relax yourself, Virgo. Give yourself some space to breathe and rest because the truth will come out. All right. And here we have the two of wands. This is giving you a resolve like you have big energy concerning getting to the bottom of this. I understand that because we don't like to be lied to, right Virgo? But you're gonna have to find a delicate balance in the meantime so that you're not worrying yourself to death, so to speak, and creating a lot of mental and physical fatigue. You will get answers swiftly. You will need to be assertive when you are speaking with this person and to help them understand it. it's time for the games to be over. Let's get serious. Let's talk about it. I'm not even sure. Maybe we'll get clarification on what it is that 
the actual situation is. I can't tell what the untruth is or surrounding what situation at this point. But Divine Spirit is letting you know. Find a balance so that you're not worrying yourself to death. Let's take a look at that shadow card again. Justice. Interesting. You have the justice as your shadow card. This is either hopes or fears. You are hoping to get the truth. You are hoping to get the truth in this situation. You want to be fair and you will find balance. Again, justice is also pointing to finding that balance so that you're not worrying yourself to death, right? But you will get to the truth and you will get to it swiftly this coming week. Fairness, you, you deserve fairness. Let's get some more clarification. Divine Spirit, clarify what it is Virgo needs to know about this situation concerning the truth. Do tell. Give us some clarification for our dear Virgo for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. Thank you, Divine Spirit. What does Virgo need to know? This one's sticking out and it's on the bottom. Hmm. Okay. This is the, oh, these are hard to see. I do apologize. This is the Heaven and Earth Tarot. And we have the Princess of Wands. Again, you are very passionate about what it is you need to find out about this situation. You want to explore what's going on and how it even got this far, so far away from the truth. So you again, you just have big fiery energy for this situation. What else, Divine Spirit? The chariot. Again, this is coming to you swiftly. <clears throat> you have the chariot here. This is coming to you swiftly. You will get to the heart of the matter. You will get to the bottom of it. It's coming swiftly. Again, balance things out. Control the situation so that you are not worrying yourself to death, to death. One more card, Divine Spirit. The moon. Yes, the truth is being hidden from you, Virgo. It's being hidden from you and you are pushing forward to find out what it is. So because when you don't have the full story, Virgo, I get it. It feels like decisions are being made for you when you don't have the full story. And that's not okay. We all want to be able to continue to make decisions for ourselves because we have free will. So I understand there is something being hidden from you, but you will get to that truth this week swiftly. But you are encouraged to take a moment, rest, give yourself a mental break so that you have a physical break. Let's go ahead and grab an oracle card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Virgo. A single card for Virgo Divine Spirit, if you will, please. A single card for Virgo from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Single card, Divine Spirit, for our lovely Virgo. What is this? This is Hollow Bone Teachability. This situation is teaching you a great lesson on discernment and keep sticking with your intuition, following your intuition, not uh, disregarding that gut feeling. This is a teachable moment for you, Virgo, right? But this foolishness, this this hidden truth, it's coming to an end. And then at that point, you can decide whether you want to continue and renew and reset that relationship or not, because that's also your choice. We have free will. One more card for Virgo from the spirit animal oracle. What spirit animal? Should Virgo embody this week, February 25th through March 2nd, Divine Spirit, a single card. A 
single card for Virgo, Spirit Animal Oracle. Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. All right, Virgo. Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. Absolutely. Reflect on the situation and understand that you are more than enough. You are a magical being you can create the life you want you can create the friendships you want because magic works through you believe that every step of the way this week virgo this is a beautiful card as well it just will point to your beauty virgo magic works through you believe it use it to your benefit for good of self and others virgo I hope that this message has resonated with you on today, Virgo, and you found it useful and you have insight. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, clicking the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.